What is going on guys? John here from John's Games channel. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. I would appreciate that. Level 4 Hog Riders. Yeah. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about uh, Call, pff, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Classic Clans Advanced Warfare. Um, those are just some more advanced tips building off of my last video, which was a basic war attack setup. Um... I'm going to be using level 4 hog riders to be my first ever attack in war using the hog riders. So hopefully this video um, goes off without a hitch. But I have 4 wall breakers, 30 barbarians, 30 archers, 20 hog riders, 4 giants, and 8 wizards. The only reason I'm bringing giants is so I will be able to draw out the clan, enemy clan, clan troop of whoever I decide to attack. So... When you get into talking about advanced war tactics for um, Clash of Clans, there's some stuff that we want to do. And I'm going to find a prime example of a base here of some one of the most important things that you're going to want to do. Um, it doesn't look like any of these guys are doing it. but So we're going to find a base that will be suitable for us to attack. Hey, that looks like a penis. This guy should get it reported. Um, but I'm looking at this base... Uh, you know, he's got some high-level archer towers combined with uh, expos and high-level wizard towers. I could take the cannons, but I don't know if I could get in there and finish the job. He, of course, is the number one guy in their clan. I'm the number five guy in their clan. This base looks, oh, just as hard. These guys are very similar. He's got a uh, level-up mortar there, so I'm going to stay away from him. Um, this guy has high archer towers. Well, high wizard towers. Some of the high archer towers. Expos. Um... You know, you want to pay attention to the level of their heroes, too. I have a level, two level six heroes. The last guy had a level, level seven uh, archer queen, so he could have been tough to beat. That was level four. Level This guy's level five. This guy is really similar to me. He doesn't have leveled up cannons yet. He doesn't have leveled up archer towers yet, so I know I'll be able to go in there and probably crush him. Um, this guy, he actually looks a little bit harder than the last guy, but, uh, his mortars aren't leveled up, his wizard towers are, he only has three wizard towers, as I can see, um, leveled up cannons, so you want to spend some time scouting out different bases before you attack, you want to think about this, like, can I take this guy down, can I beat his defenses, can I finish him off in time, and this is what I was looking for right here for the advanced war attacking. Some people will put builder huts in all four corners of their base. This guy's only got one. You want to save four barbarians. And if you see buildings in the corners like this, you want to drop one barbarian outside here, one outside here, if there's builder huts in the corner. Because if your troops go around the entire base uh, and blow everything up and they leave those builder huts in the corners... Uh, like right here, your troops will have to go from corner to corner to corner, and it'll take them 45 seconds to a minute to get to every corner to blow up those bu those builders' huts. So occasionally you'll only get 97, 98, 90 percent, 99 percent because you'll you'll miss the the uh, the builder huts in the corner. So you take a barbarian, you drop one in the corner here, one in the corner here, one in the corner here, and of course one in the corner here after you've already started your main attack. So you draw the troops out, uh, you lay into your main attack, and then save barbarians to drop in the corner to knock out those builder huts because they're far enough away from everything that nothing can shoot your guys out there while they're blowing up uh, those or smashing and destroying those builder huts. So one barbarian can destroy a builder hut within three minutes. Um, and then, of course, they'll come in and probably get killed. But that is so important that you knock out those corner buildings. And I highly, 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 highly recommend if you're going to set up your war base that you put those builder huts in the corner because they don't do anything defensively for you except they can really, I mean, they can save your your bacon from getting a three-star attack on your base. Um, all right, so I'm going to lay into probably, I'm thinking I'm probably going to lay into this guy right here. Again, I want to find his weak spot. So if I click on his clan castle in the middle, I'm going to get the circle. And that circle, the diameter of that circle, or perimeter of the circle, is where I need to get my giants in to get the cast troops out of the castle. Remember, I have to get the troops out 
of the castle. And I'm pretty confident in my ability to three-star this guy, so I am going to attack him. So my best bet is going to be to drop two giants right by this elixir collector right here. They're going to go to this wall right here towards this archer tower. And that is going to trigger all of the enemy clan troops coming out of the castle. So right before I attack, I'm going to double check everything at my base. I'm going to make sure all of my army camps are full. I'm going to make sure my spell factory is full. And I'm also going to make sure my clan castle is requested and full. So I'm going in with an additional 25 troops behind me. You can see I've got 220 troops coupled with the 220. That's 245 troops that I'm going in with instead of 220. And that is so important. So remember, you check all your stuff. Make sure you're full. We've scouted it out the base. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to scout it one more time just to get one more final look at the game plan. I'm guessing that I will, you know, I'll start my main attack here. I'll drop the giants. I'll get everybody out. And then I'll come back, drop all my hogs, drop all my troops. And then I'll heal my hogs as they get into the inside of the base. Because as long as my hogs can take out, you know, uh, everything in the middle and kind of the outside perimeter, I'm guessing I've hidden Teslas here, here here and here so i and there so i'm gonna drop all my guys kind of right in this area and they're gonna you know they're just gonna storm through this right here and hog riders are basically like giant giants that jump walls and they're very impressive so i've seen the base i've laid out my attack plan i'm gonna start here i want all my troops to kind of move systematically uh through uh the base from right to left and here we go people so this is advanced war tactics okay and you have 30 seconds to start the battle, so you don't have to jump right into it. Think about it. Make sure you stick to your game plan. I've got three healing spells, one rage spell, our Barb King, Archer King, Queen, my requested troops, my hogs, my wizards, my wall breakers, my giants, my barbarians, and my archers. Okay, so remember, we're going to drop two giants right here. We want to drop all, get all those troops out of the clan castle. You see he's got a witch in there. He's got some wizards. They're going to die. I'm going to drop a Barbarian right here. And uh, all the troops are going to start coming out towards the corner. They're going to kill that guy. I'm going to drop another Barbarian because he's going to be dead instantaneously. I just want to keep the troops moving to the outside. All right. And right now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to load them up with Archers and Barbarians. And we're just going to circle them. And circle and circle. Okay. And now we're going to commence our main attack. Which is going to be Hog Riders! Yeah! And we're going to drop the last two Giants here. Alright. And Hog Riders are such, you know, they need to be healed as they go. So, and then we're going to just skirt the perimeter here with the rest of these guys. And every, and our Barbarian King, we're going to hit him up. We're going to send in these guys next. Alright, our Hog Riders are going to get healed one more time. We're going to go ahead. I should have dropped that Rage spell a little bit more towards the top of the screen. Uh, but I wanted those guys to be able to get through the walls. All right. So, Hog Riders are doing their job. I'm not going to heal them right there because they don't have any more defenses. I'm going to drop a healing spell right here. That will cover five, six defenses. All my Hog Riders are getting in there. Uh, the, the Queen and the Wizards are doing their jobs. In the middle, I've got two stars. This is going great. I'm... Yeah, like I said, my hog riders are just awesome. Level 4 hog riders going on level 5. I'm about 10 days away from that upgrade. But as you can see, that was a well-thought-out, well-executed attack. Um, I knew I could 3-star this guy, so there wasn't really any question whether or not, like, am I going to get 3 stars? Am I going to get 2 stars? And my troops just went through and massacred everybody. So that is basically, like, if you use all these tips and you listen to how I tell you to attack, you're going to do a lot better in Clan Wars. And remember, your attacks, you have two attacks and you get attacked once. So if you get anywhere from two attacks in with two stars, that's four stars that you've gotten for your team. If you've got three-star attack against you, meaning everybody, they blew up your base, they got 100%, they just wiped you out, you've still contributed one star to the winning side of your team. So if you have four stars, 
and you minus three stars from being attacked, you got one star. That's one in the positive. If you get a six star attack and you get attacked for three stars, you've added three stars to the winning side of your total. So it's all about ratios. You want to get at least three stars for your team because that way if you get three stars and you get attacked for three stars, that's a zero zero balance. If you get four stars, you're plus one. And if you get six stars and they get zero star attack on you, you've added six points to your team to help you win the war. So, um, and you can see I got plenty of war loot there. Got my bonuses and, you know, just went off without a hitch. So um, I put I have gems on this account, by the way. But as you can see, I'm working hard. The only thing that I use gems for is to fill up my gold and my elixir. I don't I, I, I could spend 48 gems to get this builder done right now. I don't spend gems on um, getting stuff done faster. I only spend it on getting the resources uh, to build stuff and then I let it you know get stuff get built for seven days three days three hours ten days however long it is I let it play itself out but then I always have gems to buy the resources to upgrade my next stuff and I'm always uh, saving up more resources from you know just attacking people and winning wars and stuff like that looks like I got an achievement right here Woo! baby war hero that's 200 gems yeah and so we've done our first attack on this guy we smashed him three star number five um nobody's attacked me yet but i'll uh, i'll save my attack till tomorrow morning we've got 23 hours left in the war i want everybody on my clan to at least get in one attack you know but wait and attack if you attack once in the morning like i did now attack tonight or tomorrow morning don't do two attacks in a row wait to see what happens because if all of these bases get three stars three stars three stars three stars three stars i could attack way low and clean up a base down here that say somebody only got one or two stars on i can come through and just wipe them out and add to the total star count for our winning side so also very important um, but that's today's war video I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to reload my war troops. Actually, I'm not. I don't use spells when I'm just attacking regularly. I might drop a healing spell. I might not. Um, but I'm going to reload for going out and just attacking for resources later. And then I will... Um, I don't even need that many giants that I got now that I have hog riders. But I'll reload everything. Um... I think we probably need some of those. Let's just go back here and knock these down and make sure we get 35 barbarians. And then we do hog riders. Hog riders are so awesome, especially when you get them up to the higher levels. So I'm reloaded. All my stuff is cooking. I'll be ready to go when it comes time to attack again. I hope this helped. This has been Advanced Clash of Clan Warfare. I'm John from John's Games Channel. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Favorite this video. We'll see you next time.